So how much I pay today? $227. There are over 40,000 cab drivers in New York City. I'm one of them. The job is dangerous, filled with strange odors, and it doesn't pay well. Thank you. Why do I do it? One reason, the food. Famous Fat Dave is not a chef. Famous Fat Dave is an eater, and I eat a lot. I like taking huge bites. I love filling my mouth with the food and just, yeah, I don't like, oh, it tastes good right here. I like tasting it everywhere. It's always been about the food for me. When I was a kid, you could see my ribs, but I discovered fried chicken at an early age. Nothing fancy, just Roy Rogers. Started eating it two or three times a week, maybe three or four times a week. You never saw my ribs again. When I graduated from NYU, I started out driving a bread truck. My parents were very proud. Then I became a pickle man. I probably ate 30 or 40 different pickle products in a shift. Pickle. You know, it's like one for you, one for me. Uh, I was a cheesemonger at Murray's Cheese Shop. Ricotta, ricotta, ricotta. You know, the, the guy in the stands going, hey, hot dogs! Hot dogs! That was me. Wieners! How you doing? Yeah, Penn Station. You got it. Yeah, I need to be there real quick. I'm late for my train. All right, let's boogie. <laughs> Thank you. Cut some people off. <laughs> I love being a cab driver. Yeah. I would say I learned more in two weeks at New York Tax Academy than I did in four years at NYU. Everybody go. Good, that's smart. You need a ride? My mom. She doesn't like it. it's a dangerous job. Statistically, driving a cab is the second most dangerous job in America, aside from being a deep sea fisherman. Yeah, there's a million different ways to die doing this. Uh, cholesterol being on that list. So where do you eat in your neighborhood? I love Alta. That's my favorite, probably. Ali's, I like to eat there a lot. That place is good. Dumpling House on Eldridge. Melt is great. The chocolate room afterwards for uh, dessert. The chocolate room sounds amazing. The chocolate room? Yeah. I drive for the food tip, not for the monetary tip as much. I drive for the food tip. The places on the Famous Fat Dave tour are Famous Fat Dave guaranteed. They're all absolutely delicious. All right, let's go meet Ann and Kim Scardino, mother and daughter from Philadelphia. I know they love cannolis. I love cannolis, so we got that in common. But today, I'm gonna add a few more foods to their list of favorites. Hello, hello. How are you? Hey. Hi. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi. Hi, I'm Dave, and you I'm must Ann. be Ann. Nice to meet you, Good Dave. to meet you. I love your car. Wow. That's awesome. Look at the window. What year is this? This is so cool. This is a classic check or the frame from 52. You set? Yeah, thanks. thanks. First things first, let's get you eating. In cab app. Nice. Wow. This is a sheep milk gouda. It's called Euphoria. Wow. This is an English pasteurized milk. It's called Monk's House. Chow down on that. Thank you. There are no rules on the Famous Fat Dave Five Borough Eating Tour, except one. Famous Fat Dave always gets the last bite. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys ready to eat? Yes, oh, yeah. I'm starving. 
So I'm taking you on the sweet and savory tour. So the euphoria, the orange one, is the sweet cheese. All right, I think I'll try this one. I'll try the mm. savory. And this, the other one, the monk's house, is we savory. Can compare. You taste the little crunchy parts in the, yeah, in the there's euphoria? Yeah, a little. Like, yeah, like that's a little rice crispy or yeah, something. That's the protein settling on the aging process. Oh. Interesting. I've Drive never it. had cheese in the back. Wow, yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> First stop is going to be Lower East Side. You got the garment district, you got the theater district. A hundred years ago, the Lower East Side was New York's pickle district. Before vegetable deliveries were centralized at the Hunts Point Terminal Market up in the Bronx, each vegetable went to a different place in the city. Cucumbers went to Ludlow Street on the Lower East Side. Since there were a bunch of Russian Jewish immigrants there, they started pickling the cucumbers like they did in the old country. And you get the pickle district out of that. How long does it take a cucumber to become a pickle? All right, this, this is how it breaks down. Yeah. You got a cucumber, uh -huh. put it in the brine, Within minutes, it's a pickle. As soon as it's got, as soon as it tastes salty, it's a pickle. Really? So that's a new pickle. It stays a new pickle for a few days, and that pickle becomes a half sour. The full sour is, it's more salt in the brine. They lay it out in the sun, ten days on one side, ten days on the other side. Pickle guys. Wow, it smells good in here. Ooh. How's it going? Oh my so? gosh, look at Hi. this stuff. How are you? This Hi. is Kim. Hey, Kim. And, how are you? Fantastic, yeah. how are you? Yeah. We're doing a sweet and savory tour, so we want some sweet Hi. and some savory, some mm -hmm. salt. Over here we have full sour pickles, three quarter sour pickles, then you got tomatoes, peppers, mushrooms, pickled garlic, right? Greek oh. olives, Colorado right. olives, garlic stuffed olives, pimento stuff, peri peri stuff. Mm. Some exotic. This would be excellent sweet. Okay, okay. I'll take that. That's you can split it. You want one of these? She, Kim is you know, a pepper I'm person. half Italian, but I actually don't like red peppers. You, you got to try a pickle. Nice You're at eating tour. You got to try I a pickled, know. pickled I'll, sweet pepper. All right, I'll try it. Pepper so good. good. I'll try it. I'll, I'll just try it. Try that. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Tiny little bite. Ah! Hey. You like it? That's good. Are you going to what? Good. It's good, right? Yeah. All right, guys, you're at a pickle stand. Try. You haven't had a pickle yet. You're going to have right. a pickle. Yeah. Let's start them with the new pickle. Thank you. Thanks, Al. Okay. So, yeah, that's the new pickle. That was a cucumber what? Less than a week ago? Mm. This was made uh, the 21st, mm. seven days ago. Mm, it has a perfect blend. You know what I like? It has a good crunch. Yeah. So does this. Fresh taste. So the same, same pickle. Oh, the same that's pickle. why they're very good. You it's need great. to have your fridge stocked with pickles. At all times. So you, your fridge at home is stocked with pickles? I always have pickles. I bet you can't eat a sandwich without a pickle. I can't eat a pickle without eating another pickle. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well, Al, it was so nice to have met you, oh, Mr. Pickle. Was mine. This is fabulous. You'll hear from me. I'm going to order online. Especially around yeah, the holidays. Thanks, Al. I love okay. the garlic. Oh, anytime. You know, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to see you. We're going to leave Manhattan now and go to Brooklyn. Brooklyn's probably got the best food of any borough. Really? I would say. Uh, <laughs> Brooklyn's got the institutions. It's got the old, the old fashioned places that have been around forever, and that's where we're going. We're going to a place called Tom's Diner. It's opened in 1936, and it hasn't changed an ounce. We're doing the sweet and savory, so we're gonna do cinnamon flavored butter, syrup, on a Belgian waffle Ooh. with pork sausage. Oh my wow. God. You're gonna meet Gus in there. Gus is, I am not exaggerating, the sweetest man, not just in Brooklyn, not just in New York, he's the sweetest man on the planet. Hey, Gus. Hey, hey kiddo. Customers. Nice to see you. Hi, Hi Gus. I am indeed. Hi, I'm Ann. It's a pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Ann. Nice to meet you. Hi, Gus. I'm Ann. Daughter Kim. Hi, nice to meet nice you. To meet you. It's you cozy in here. <laughs> Oh, this is the butter. Oh, okay. this is the butter. Strawberry butter, fresh strawberry mixed with uh, fresh mm. strawberries and creamy butter. Cinnamon apple butter. Wow. Cinnamon apple mm -hmm. sounds good. Try them all. Try them all. Okay. Mm. Belgian waffles weren't introduced into the United States until the 1964 World's Fair. Mm -hmm. So there was a time when you couldn't order 
Belgian waffles at Tom's. I give you two kinds of sausage we serve. Oh, one my. is beef oh, sausage. Oh, my goodness. And the other one is pork sausage. Good ingredients. Oh, my. Excellent. Excellent. Now, let's try the sausage. Now, what is it, Gus? You think that people mm. love Tom's because of the food, or is it because Good. of the place, or is it because of you? Well, it's probably a combination of everything, and me probably the least of all. But oh, they know no. when they come here. Oh, no. But they know when they come here, it's like I home. Yes. The story that I've heard that I've never heard from you: mm -hmm. is the MLK riots after the assassination of Martin Luther King on uh, April four thirty. Yes, four thirty in the afternoon. You right. look outside and you see hundreds of people walking. So where are these people coming from? And at that time, it was the riots. Oh. And we had uh, black American people living in the area. Not many at that time. Mm -hmm. But they were customers yeah. and they were friends. Uh -huh. And what they did was they just held hands in front of this store just to make sure that nobody damaged The human us. chain. The human oh, chain. That, nice? that is so And that said That's a beautiful to us story. that, that, uh, story. that uh, this is not the place to abandon. I can't imagine this neighborhood without Tom's. I couldn't imagine New York without Tom's. Wow. When Dave said we were going for waffles mm. with cinnamon, butter, and sausage, I thought this it would be good, but I didn't think it would be this amazing. Well, I appreciate it. Is so the waffles so here. You cleaned off your plate. So I just can't stop eating. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Mm. This is good. Oh, as well, as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dave, so much. Take care. Now I'm going to show you how I put the fat in Famous Fat Dave. Ooh, fried wow. chicken wow. and yams. Wow. We love fried chicken. A perfect ending to the perfect day. <laughs> <laughs> what you want for nothing? A rubber biscuit? Oh, 